Welcome back to ModiMate's click-by-click -click guided tutorials. In this video, we'll cover some basics for how to capture instant renderings and walkthroughs. By now you've already used Orbit, Pan, and Zoom. Right-click to Orbit, middle-click to Pan, and scroll to Zoom. But additionally, you can navigate the scene by holding right-click, which commences in Orbit, but as soon as you type W, A, S, or D, you begin to fly around the scene, W for forward, S for backward, A for left, D for right. You'll see me fly around the scene with these controls throughout this video. Let's go inside the main living space. In Modimate, you cannot scroll through surfaces, so a common practice that I do is to orbit yourself parallel and then press A to fly to the side. Now we're inside our main space, but our field of view is quite narrow. This can be modified in the 3D view properties by typing a new field of view, somewhere between 90 and 100 typically works for me. Press enter and you now have a view more similar to that of someone walking inside the space. One tip for orbiting inside of rooms is to right click near the bottom of the screen because these surfaces are nearest to you, so the orbit point is very close. Another option is simply to tap W, A, S, or D, or E or Q. E and Q raise you up and down, respectively. And once you've tapped any of those keys, moving your mouse acts like turning your head. The next step in the 3D view properties menu is to turn on gravity. While gravity is active, you can still touch your scene and design it because you're still in your design document. I can click on the kitchen backsplash and change its assembly if I wish. I can use stretch handles to resize things. I can use the move tool. But while gravity is active, right click does not orbit. Right click begins a look around. W, A, S, N, D allow me to walk around the scene. This means your design document is pretty much like a video game level. You can let your client walk around the scene or you can get a sense for the space yourself. Let's move on to other 3D view properties. The next useful feature for creating renderings and walkthroughs is saving a particular camera position. Saving a view is as simple as clicking the plus in the saved views list. I can turn off gravity now, and when I click on this new camera view, my camera returns to that view. If I want a view from the backyard, I can save that view. If I want a view from the front porch, I can save this view. Now I can swap between them, as easy as click, click, click. It's a nice way to start a playthrough if you save a view and then turn on gravity. We have one more tool at our disposal for creating instant renderings, and that is changing the time of day. Changing the time of day can be done by either typing a new number into the field or scrolling your wheel if you wish to cycle quickly through increments. So if you want to find the specific sun angle that works for you, scrolling your wheel is a good way to do it. These simple tools make it effortless to evaluate your design and present it to your clients. No longer is rendering a separate step from the design documentation process, the very same model that produces your DWGs is beautiful enough to present to a client. These simple tools allow your documentation model to be as beautiful as a rendering with no extra work. Instant renderings and walkthroughs, courtesy of BodyMade. In the next video, we'll learn how to cut this model and produce instant background DWGs.